Hello, hello. So I have a little unboxing for you guys. I ended up getting a couple of things from Atlas Stationers that I wanted to share with you. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing I got was an ink. And it actually looks like there might be a freebie in here as well. Yes. So I asked for my order to be pulled live on TikTok, a little note in your order, and they'll pull it on TikTok and sometimes they'll have little freebies that they're giving away just for fun. So this is actually a little freebie ink. So this is the DC Super Show Teal. I have not tried this. Oh, it's super pretty. Oh, wow. I'm really excited. That's really fun. And then this other ink was actually a back-ordered item. I ordered it during the sidewalk sale and they were out of it. So they said I could come back and get it at a later time when they had it back in stock at the price of the sidewalk sale. So this is the Jacobin Shogun ink and I got their little postcard which you always get and they always do a hand lettered note on here so this one says fabulous fall. So I like keeping these and they're great for you know stopping your hand from leaving oil on your page um, or you can put them in your journals or you can just frame them and keep them in your room but yeah these are really cute. So I didn't actually order anything from the direct Hobonichi site this year, but I really wanted to do some ink journaling on the Tomoe River paper and I really liked this design of the cover. Then this other one is a MD notebook. So I really wanted to try the Midori paper. I put up a little survey on my community feed uh, um, on YouTube asking what types of paper people like to see fountain pen samples on and a lot of people wrote back and said they liked the MD. Uh, I'm not sure if it was the MD cotton or this one but uh, I've heard kind of iffy things about the MD cotton so I didn't really want to use that one and I wanted to have something that I would use as well. And this other one is a Triomphe Clairefontaine uh, plain tablet. So this is just 50 pieces of bright white paper because I really wanted to try that too. Some um, people in the survey said that they use Clefontaine as well. I have a Rhodia pad which I believe is made by the same, like they're the same manufacturers, but I think the Triumph is a step up from the Rhodia because I don't particularly love the Rhodia for shading. So I'm wondering whether the Clefontaine is going to be a little better with that. So I thought I'd just show you the notebooks and tablet that I got in a little more detail, just so you can see. So this is the A5. It has a very glossy, slightly textured cover and back, and the material for the cover is really quite thick, so it's quite durable. I think I'm gonna get a clear cover from Midori for this one, just because I wanna protect it a little bit. But on the back, um, I'm pretty sure this says Hobonichi Grid Notebook, a silver foil on the back. And then it has the illustrator here. But you can see that texture. It's kind of an interesting uh, texture to the, to the cardboard there. And then the corners are very slightly rounded, which is nice. So they don't get dog-eared as easily. This one is just a notebook of grid paper and it has four different colors of the grid paper. So it has the red, the blue, uh, like an olive green, and then a gray. But yeah, really flexible still. I think it lies flat. Let's see. Yeah, I think you can kind of train it to lie flat. It doesn't lie flat instantly. But yeah, that's really good. And this is the Tomoe River paper in this as well. It's the same as the planners from Hobonichi. Then the Midori one came in a little plastic sleeve which I took off. This is a blank notebook with squared edges, not rounded at all, and it comes with this little sleeve here plus a little sort of tissue paper sleeve or onion skin sleeve which you can take off. And it's all the same paper and it is very cream coloured. You can see it's quite yellow. It also lies flat which is really nice. This uh, Triumph Clefontaine tablet, it's actually just uh, like a writing pad and it's just glued at the top here. And it comes with this first sheet here, which you can then take off and use under your writing so that you have lines. You can also use it as blank paper. You don't have to use that under there, but that's really handy. And this is bright white. So 
really quite a big difference from the cream to the white. So here's a comparison of all the different colors. So we have bright white from Clairefontaine, then we have a slightly off white from the Tomori River Hobonichi notebook, then we have this yellowy cream color from the Midori. So your ink color is going to show differently on all of these different ones. So just something to keep in mind when you're choosing paper. And then the last thing I got is a Twisby. Oh, it's really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to open it up. So this is the Twisby Diamond 580 in Rose Gold Smoke. And the reason I chose this one, I was going to get the Rose Gold Smoke in the Eco, but I really wanted to try out the different section on here. I have an ALR which has the metal grip section here, but this one has a plastic one. So I I think I'm gonna enjoy, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that way more <laughs> than the metal one. I don't mind the metal one, but I don't like how it kind of spins, whereas this is nice and stationary. It's gonna look great with my my new ink in that. So we'll ink that up in a minute. So yeah, I've been really, I've been eyeing this one and I just decided to pull the trigger on it and it's really beautiful. Uh, I got it in a medium nib. The eco that I have is in a fine, but I wanted to get a medium point on this one because uh, they write a lot smoother. And I want to use this with shimmer inks because it's going to look so pretty in the barrel and Twisby's handle shimmer pretty well. So I thought I would get a wider line width for this one so that I can see the shimmer in the inks better. And I really like the fact that this is um, the smoke because the cap liner in all of these pens is kind of a gray color so I really loved that this was a sort of smoky color as well so you didn't see that kind of weird gray cap so I think this looks super classy and beautiful and I'm really excited to ink it up and have a look So here's our two new ink colors swatched out on the three different types of paper. The Jacobin Shogun, you can see that beautiful shimmer on there. It's almost like a rose gold ink that sort of has a black halo uh, with that shimmer. It's really, really, really pretty. And it is definitely uh, more of a gray to me than a black. It's not a super saturated black, uh, but that shimmer is absolutely gorgeous. And on the Clairefontaine, it really shows up. And then uh, the DC Super Show, this is actually DC Super Show. So this has a little bit of that red sheen. It's not a super shiny sheen on this paper, but you can definitely see it. And there's some shading in the ink there. So that's kind of nice. I want to try some more shading inks on here just to see how the Clairefontaine uh, behaves because if it's anything like Rhodia, you don't get a lot of variation, but it does seem to be doing really well with the shimmer and a little bit of that sheen. Next up we have the Tomoe River paper in the Hobonichi notebook and you can see the shimmer feels a little more apparent on here. I mean that ink is just crazy beautiful. Uh, again I thought it would be a little darker, a little blacker, but it's definitely a sort of a cool grey with that shimmer on top. The DC Super Show teal looks really nice on here. It actually has a lot more sheen on this Tomoe River paper. You can see on that M there, the gorgeous haloing that's going on. Uh, I didn't probably lay it down as thick in this uh, swatch here, but you can definitely see the sheen sort of reflecting on the outline there. And it's just a really beautiful green. I really like it. And then on the MD, again, we have a bunch of shimmer. You can see that it's looking more like a warm gray, I think because of this warm toned paper. And then the sheen is pretty amazing on this paper here. In the text, it's not as apparent, but on that swatch, you can really see the red shining through. Uh, but yeah, really, really lovely colors. I'm actually really impressed by this teal. I had never really been on my radar, and so it was kind of interesting to get it as a, as a little freebie. I'm glad I got to try it. Yeah, so overall, it was really interesting to see 
the different performance on these papers. I'm not sure if these two inks were the definitive test of how they perform, but they do show how different the colors can look just because of the paper, which makes sense because it's a transparent medium. So you're definitely getting that yellow coming through, shifting this one especially into a more of a green than a teal because of that yellow coming through. Uh, the Shogun didn't seem to be influenced too much by it other than I believe it's more of a cool gray, sort of a purplish gray. And it does look a little less cool on the, um, on the MD paper. But yeah, really, really interesting. I am not a fan of how dark these lines are on the Hobonichi notebook. Um, and this is the red. So I wonder if it'll be different to see. This is even darker with the, the blue here. So yeah, it'd be interesting as we go through just how that optical illusion of having the red there influences the colors on here. Uh, but yeah, it's really a lovely paper. I really love Tomo River. So I'm glad to have that uh, to experiment with. The, the pen itself, for the Shogun text was really lovely. It I don't feel like it's as wet as my other medium nib from Twisby. I have a ALR in navy and that's a super wet medium nib and it could be the ink. I think what I'm going to have to do is ink them both up and see how they write but it makes sense that some nibs uh, just perform differently from others even if they are both mediums. This is considerably a different feel to the other one so yeah I'm going to try out that as well and I'll let you guys know but I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera. It's really hard to see, but you can kind of see the breakout of the ink and it sort of looks a little purple. And then that rose gold shimmer coming through just, it looks so pretty in this pen. Yeah, so that's my little Atlas haul. Uh, I'll put my affiliate code in the description. I unfortunately don't think it, you can get it on Twisby's. There's some brand exceptions that they don't have it on. I think it's like Sailor and Twisby and a couple of other brands, but most of the brands that they carry, uh, you can use that affiliate code and it will get you 10% off your whole cart. And you can use it as many times as you want, so on every order. So that's really cool if you support a bunch of different creators, then you can use different codes each time and they're all gonna work, so that's really fun. So yeah, I think that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!